Linus Tech Tips is one of the channels that I have been personally watching lately. Their content is pretty awesome and they have really good thumbnails so I said why not challenge myself and try to create a Linus Tech Tips thumbnail inspired by the thumbnails in under. So without any further delay, let's get started. Okay, so first thing as always, I will start by creating a new Photoshop document with the usual sizes of 1280 by 720 pixels. Once that's done, I will seal set the gradient tool and create a gradient with these blue colours as the look extremely vibrant and can pop in the YouTube Hope page, you can pause the video and take a screenshot if you want to copy the exact hex code. Once that's done, I will select the brush tool and using a brush with zero hardness and 10% flow, I will start painting a vignette effect on the bottom part of the thumbnail. Like this, I will make sure not to exaggerate it and keep it subtle by reducing the opacity a little bit. Just like this now, for more detail in we'll add this grid pattern that I found online. It's not very high quality but it will do the job. I will blend it into out background like this and then I will add a mask layer, invert it and only paint the bright areas. Just like this. Once that's done, I will select the rectangle tool and create a white rectangle. Like this, I will resize it a little bit so it's bigger and after that I will add a slight drop shadow to it so it stand out from the background. Next I will create a circle like this and put it in the top of the rectangle. Once that's done, I will add this rounded start that I found online. I will duplicate it five times, resize them and align them together so they look good. Once that's done, I will drag and drop this fake AI generated image of a person and click pit into the circle that we made earlier and to add more curiosity. I will pixelate the face. Now moving on to the stars, I will make the first one with the golden gradient and for the other, I will leave them at 50% opacity like this and maybe for more detail. I will add a slight drop shadow behind the stars so they do stand out a bit like this. Once that's done, I will drag and drop this image of the beautiful gaming laptop and place it right here. After that, I will add a little camera raw filter to it and make some adjustments here and there just to make it pop a bit and have more saturation next. I will be using this image of Loina's face like this. I will remove the background using the built-in remove background feature in Photoshop and then I will drag and drop him into our document and then I will apply some skin retouching to his face just like this. And if you are new to the channel, I have already made a full video showing you guys the best way to make skin reto queuing inside of Photoshop. I really advise you to check out that video after watching this one. Also, before we continue, I'd like to mention an excellent website I've been using recently for designing posts and simple thumbnails for my clients. It's called Kittle. For those unfamiliar, Kittle is a user-friendly design platform for creating high quality graphics. It caters to people who need logos, posters, social media content and merchandise designs even without advanced design skills. This tool makes professional looking visuals accessible to beginners and experts alike. Kittle offers an intuitive drag and drop interface with a wealth of templates, fonts, icons, and other assets for quick design customization. It's especially valuable for beginners or those seeking a fast, straightforward tool, eliminating the need for complex software like Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop. Now, let me show you a quick tutorial on how to use Kittle to design a super simple thumbnail. First, you'll want to go to this video's description and click on the link. This will support the channel and help us continue posting these videos. Once you're in, you'll be greeted with a super simple interface. You'll find great assets ranging from logos, t-shirt designs and thumbnails to many other graphic elements. For our purpose, we'll search for YouTube thumbnails. As you'll see, there are multiple choices to pick from. You can find all styles of thumbnails covering sports, education, gaming and more. For me, I like this thumbnail, so I selected it. As you can see, you can edit everything, change the text, upload images, adjust fonts and colors, and even create your own thumbnail from scratch without downloading any external software. Additionally, Kittle offers a paid plan. If you're interested, you can use the code BADISYT to get a 25% discount on any plan and enjoy unlimited access to graphic assets. Now, let's return to our tutorial and complete the thumbnail. Okay, after we got the face ready, it's time to blend it into our thumbnail. So to do that, I will be adding a drop shadow like this, a slight one. It doesn't need to be a lot. And then to make it more vibrant, I will add some inner glow to his face. Like this here, I noticed that the composition isn't the best, so I will do some changes here and there and not forget my layers, because why not? And finally, at the end, it's time to add a camera raw filter to make everything stand out and look great and in place. The colour correction for this thumbnail is easy. It didn't take a lot. Just adding some grain and messing around with the blue colour until something good appear next to add more dynamism to the thumbnail. I will be adding a chromatic aberration effect like this. I have already showed that in Ryan Trahan video. 
so be sure also to check that I find this effect awesome and I use it nearly in all of my thumbnails. And that's it. I hope you liked the video, if you did be sure to click the like button, this will help me improve the quality of my video and upload more frequently. And as always don't forget to grab your PSD file from the description down below and see you in the next episode, peace.